Well, I think that, um, you know, the, the PR business, the communications business broadly is, is even more important now. Um, I think there's particularly online, you know, what I was saying about the, the process and how sped up it is and how it's 24-7, the more help you can get from anyone in producing that story, in adding value to that story, um, the better off you're going to be. And if, that, if the person who provides that help for you is a PR person, that's then so much the better. Um, and I know we were talking before about, um, you know, adding value to things like a press release. If, in the same way journalists have had to change their jobs um, and think about their jobs as a process, I think if you think your job is to, to put together a press release with a couple of canned quotes and, and send that out to people and that's it, you're done, then, then you're thinking about your job in the wrong way. I mean, it's, it's, it's much more of a process now. So that's the start of the process. And hopefully you've added enough value to that press release that, it, that someone can get that value out of that and make it part of their story. But then that story is going to continue to evolve. They're going to call you. They're going to email you. They're going to DM you on Twitter. They're, you're going to see comments. Um, on the story or you're going to see comments on Twitter, you're going to want to change something, add to something, correct something. Um, unfortunately, just as it does for journalists, it makes your jobs a lot harder. Um, you, you just have to kind of constantly be aware of those things and be available um, in the same way <coughs> that journalists have had to be aware that that story never ends. Um, it, it starts and the ball starts rolling and things start changing, and, and it's, you know, an ongoing process.